हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम टू नेक्स्ट हीलो दिस इज डॉक्टर विशाल ह्यूमंस आर नॉट द स्ट्रॉन्गेस्ट नॉट द बिगेस्ट एंड नॉट द फास्टेस्ट क्रिएचर ऑन द अर्थ स्टिल वी आर द बेस्ट वेल ऑल द सीक्रेट्स लाई अमंग द ह्यूमन एनाटॉमी एंड टू थ्रो मोर लाइट ऑन दैट वी हैव विद अस आर फैकल्टी ऑफ एनाटॉमी डॉक्टर मोहसिन अजमी सर ही इज अ प्रोफेसर ऑफ एनाटॉमी एंड ही इज बीइंग गाइडिंग टू स्टूडेंट्स सिंस मेनी इयर्स both undergraduate students and students who are aspiring for competitive exams let us hear him out welcome sir thank you dr vishal for the great introduction i'm very grateful to be a part of this uh, next to wrap which is uh, a one stop destination for all the medicals for learning uh, various subjects of medical stream at one destination at the ease at the comfort at the time in their own gadgets so i think uh, you people the co-founders of this next to the app has done a great job what i believe because uh, we i have seen there's so many good faculties involved in this and this you people have done a great job thank you and i'm very happy that i am a part of this now a pleasure sir yeah. so i'm going to deliver my best you know that sure. my, that's my short sure. thought sir anatomy is a basic subject yeah and uh, when you see students entering to the dissection hall for the first time you know uh, how do you look up to them because uh, i still remember mm. when i first time went to department of anatomy mm. there were mixed feelings mm. you know uh, excitement curiosity how do you look up to them you see dr vishal those uh, those students who are uh, you know entering into this medical stream or those who are interested so they are actually very curious to know about the human body because there is lots so many structures right within inside like the gross anatomy portion right. and that which cannot see with the naked eyes with the histo- growth happening within this uterus the fetal life so all that is so much amazing thing that you know that uh, attracts the interest of these medical young medical in- uh, uh, students and these people are noise they are like uh, freshers so they have to be taken with care of that the interest should be continuously maintained right, right. because uh, they soon get distracted but if the if the subject is boring or the teacher is delivering it in a boring way yeah. so students start distracted but uh, what i think uh, yeah this app with so many good features i believe this is going to attract features of so many students yeah they're frosty boy definitely yeah. and uh, sir what should be the ideal approach for the first year medical students particularly with the anatomy subject the first year students are mostly teenagers and they are no ice in this field so what i believe that when I, when they come up to me i have to start from the very basic right yet and uh and to like keep their attention focused towards the subject right and for that you know they are so much interested in knowing about this dissection cadavers and that's a amazing creation of god so right? everybody wants to like uh, open and you know see the body parts inside so dissection is one good attraction for these students so what i think is that they should be you know uh, focused towards the subject they should be organized this should be disciplined punctual and should have a habit of regularly following at least giving 2 hours to anatomy every day especially in yeah. the first year because it's a long it's a basic subject you have to develop concepts you yeah. build concept and you know it's all a pictographic thing you have lots of images anatomy is totally diagram and visual image. memory yeah. Yeah. so in the very beginning you have to go through so many dissection books so you have atlases you yeah. know so and you know the drawing thing keep drawing in your notebooks in your manuals mm-hmm. and you can follow my drawing pattern in my uh, in my lectures yeah. i also keep drawing in my lectures you will find so just follow the drawing pattern you, those who are fresher right yeah. and you know i keep on repeating what i draw yeah because very person like even in drawing a uh, you know drawing a line it keeps should, yeah memory. so whatever the student is drawing you should know what he is drawing yeah so having a focus on the image based questions the drawing pattern and 
this inquisitiveness to know that why this structure is there why is it how is it suspended in a body like every organ in a body is like having a fixed location right. and that is being fixed because of so many ligaments you know fascial attachments so th that has to be thought about so that makes an interest if you have an interest of you know inquisitiveness to know how and uh, why i think this inquisitiveness makes you develop a good professional it is going to help them retain drawing is the basics of anatomy without yeah. in every medical school i have seen that you know, students they are also given a manuals and to draw the diagrams draw the either from the atlas of the manual or you can even draw what the teacher is drawing yeah and in my lectures in this next tool i'm going to draw and teach the students right and uh, one more thing sir irrespective of the practicals and vivas which definitely you are going to teach students yes. for the first year but what is your advice the students which have already uh, in the final years and pre final years to revise a quick you know crisp high yield topics in anatomy particularly oriented to the competitive exams yes. what is your advice look uh, uh, as i told you that concept building phase is the phase of under graduation like from the first year to final year mm -hmm. and anatomy is like incorporated in all the surgical branches definitely you cannot like learn uh, orthopedic surgery gynae radiology yeah, radiology yeah Radiolog ent ophthal yeah. everything is so much related to anatomy so if you are developing this concept in your entire phase of mbbs uh, for around 5 years um, so by the time when you are uh, graduate then when you look up to your competitive exams there is a limited span of time when you appear in exam out of those two, uh, 300 questions you have like a limited amount of questions but i assure you if you have a concept clear about that me you can at least solve 70 to 75 questions just by the knowledge of anatomy right out of those 300 right not core anatomy yeah. but the yeah. clinical correlation integrated applied in anatomy yeah. clinically correlated anatomy yes. that's yes. what i'm telling See, anatomy is not only like 70 20 questions it yeah. is covering around 70 to 75 questions definitely right right so and you have to have a well uh, uh, an idea about a time management many people yeah, yeah they just uh, the time you know they couldn't even complete the question paper like 30 300 questions mostly students say that oh la last 20 questions is okay no so you have to have this time management and for that you have to have a, like you know keep on revising right because you know uh, it's not like uh, not because when you are appearing for a medical entrance exam pg entrance exam you have to like just go through your, because there are 19 subjects right so you cannot like uh, you know stuck to one subject for all the time so what i think is uh, an at me just go through these uh, you know the next to lab or time to link uh, you know i will be uh, i'll be uploading on my lectures here yeah you go and revise through those lectures just have a fast revision okay. and then i will be have uh, i'll be uploading you know image based questions right. then uh do the mcqs the question bank keep following them regularly right, right? right. and when you have you know when you in case if you come across a doubt yeah you we have available available yeah. yeah so we are available with the faculty of next year is available and you can put up your doubts we can will be happy to solve it for you definitely yeah. right follow the lecture series follow the notes yeah keep on revising it give a two three time a good reading before your exam and definitely uh, examiner can flip the question and uh, play around the question yeah, but it is not the problem same once question, your, you know yeah. same question can be asked many ways yeah the concept is same but concept it can uh, you know like talking about like uh, the course of uh, you know the radial nerve in the arm yeah. there can be like 15 questions on the same Uh, course, like different branches giving out different relations, right? Then course of this relation to with muscle relation to arteries. The, the options are actually made accordingly to that. Yeah. So same question can be asked in several ways, but your concept should be clear, right? And that will help to you know, solve you, uh, you know, in any type of exam, right? So definitely, uh, all the students uh, will follow your advice, and especially. the first year students who are going to you know start their journey as a medical uh, student yeah they are definitely going to get great help from your yeah. lectures and uh, yeah they are going to enjoy anatomy yeah. and what i believe if you are listening it 
with put attention right so with me if you follow the frequency frequency of my teaching you will start getting interest and i'm sure you will you know you will develop build up a lot of good concepts about anatomy sure yeah sure so thank you so much sir for your time for thank your you. precious advices which you have given to the students good luck all the medicals all over the world right you are uh, you are getting you are getting this you know app which is helping you in all sorts of medical uh, diverse branches right which will help you solve entrance exams for all sort of medical surely you know surely thank you so much sir thank you so much for your time so stay tuned stay connected and stay healthy